What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you again from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand Inner Circle. What's going on, brothers? Before I get into the day's topic, which is some common scams you need to avoid, <clears throat> but you can't do that if you're not aware of them. Uh, yeah, this is the only thing that generates any revenue for me, and YouTube suppresses a lot of my videos both monetarily and through not sharing them. So, uh, yeah, your donations are, are appreciated and, and necessary in order for me to keep the rent paid, like literally. So, yeah, think about that. All right, so, coming into the high season, I mean, there are so many people here already, um, and there are, some, there are some common scams that you may or may not know about. So I'm going to cover a few of those. And hopefully, uh, you know, might give a couple bonus tips at the end and hopefully save you some, uh, save you some despair from making mistakes. All right. We'll start off with the easy one. A super simple one you need to avoid is these guys out here selling watches. They're going to tell you it's a Rolex or whatever, but it ain't. Some of you, I don't, we see dudes buying them sometimes and we don't, we don't understand why. They're not the real deal. Um, I mean, if you need to flex that bad, man, you might need to rethink, rethink your stuff. So yeah, no need to be rude to them or anything. They are, they're low pressure, just ignore them. If they're all up in your face, just tell them no thank you and keep it pushing, all right? Because man, ain't, ain't no crate of Rolexes falling off the back of a truck or out of a, out of a shipping container. You just happen to be getting a good deal, you know? That just, that's not real. All right, the next thing is I'm gonna flip this camera around so you guys can see what's going on out here in the street. all right another one that happens more often during high season than the rest of the year although you'll see it sometimes is the money exchange scam now i'm not talking about at a place where you go to change your currency you'll be out somewhere and some person will ask you to change a thousand their thousand bot note for a bunch of small notes for whatever reason they got they'll come up with something don't do it you'll either get a fake bot note or you'll you'll end up giving them more money than than uh than what you were exchanging they will also do the same thing with the uh, u.s bank notes they'll tell you something along the lines of they can't change it because they don't have their id or they can't change it because it's a little damaged or it's old or they'll tell you something to get your interest might even tell you they'll give you you know they'll take half of what it's worth or something like that don't do it and, I, and I've seen people fall for this don't do it either the bill is fake or there's something wrong with it or they'll end up talking you out of more money than than whatever the, the bill was worth it, it happens man and I know people say oh that never happened to me it happens believe that so just don't do it don't do it uh, beyond that there's there's a certain number of people out here sitting around asking for you know some donations it's okay to be generous once in a while uh, but sometimes you'll have people approach you and they'll have some sob story older older women in particular will do this don't fall for it the car ain't broken her ID's not missing whatever the problem is it's not your problem man so just just don't do it whatever it is don't do it all right now this one's not a scam 
but some of you just are not very bright. No offense, but uh, there's lots of lots of knockoff clothing being sold, and that's cool. Sometimes there's seconds, you know, that didn't pass muster to actually go into a polo store, or they're knockoffs, you know, for whatever reason. Um, and they're asking, they're not asking a lot of money, you know, 200, 300 baht for a, for a knockoff Under Armour shirt or, you know, a knockoff polo. It's not a bad deal, but don't think it's real. Don't think that you're getting some super stellar deal because you're not. Just, it's not happening. It doesn't work like that. If that shirt was legit and really worth that, they'd be asking that. And there's nothing wrong with them. A lot of times they're they're reasonably good quality. If you go out to Pat Pong Night Market, oh yeah, they got a lot to choose from. A lot to choose from. Uh, and some of the quality is like it's really good. Whether they're bags, clothes, whatever. All right, and the last one. Yeah, I, I don't know if this falls under scam. But I've been here a while. I've been looking through old video over the last year. And the the drug dealers. And that's what they are. There are so many out here. And they're African. And they'll how do you know the difference? Because tourists don't post up in groups of two, three, four, five, six outside of a place with and not move not have a beverage, not eat. Um, they don't, another tourist won't call after you. They won't say, uh, hey, nice guy, and other, and other crap like that. Avoid them. Just ignore them. I was looking through video, video from six months ago. I don't see any. Five months ago, they started showing up. The other night, a friend and I were down on Soy 11. There were more of them than there were freelancers and tourists. They were every freaking where. They're all over Sukkum Bit too. So the, the cautionary tale is you don't know if they're working entrapment. That's, that's not likely. And to answer your other question, how can they be out here? Because they pay to be out here. They pay the taxes to be out here. And the, the penalties, the penalties are freaking harsh. The dr drug, even minor possession, what we would consider minor possession, the penalties can be super harsh. You just don't want to get caught up in that. All right. Like, subscribe, comment. And that's all I got for today. It's your boy JC. Peace out.